Okay, so at the moment the roof's off, the floor's down, and the next stage is to get all these bricks down here up to the first floor level. And we're going to use this brick and block elevator you can see over there. We'll set that up and uh, show you how it works. Okay, so we're getting to lay some bricks here now, and we've got our profile set up here. And what this does, this keeps a, a straight uh, plumb line uh, where the corner of the house is going to be. So we've put some props back down either side. Um, we've uh, clamped that into position, and we've marked out here our gauge rod. So the gauge rod is basically the height of all the courses. Each brick is 76 millimetres, and then when you add 10 millimetres for mortar, that makes it 86 millimetres. We've marked out 86 millimetres the whole way up this uh, corner profile. And we've set up a string line and we'll lift that string line up as we go to get our course height throughout there. The problem is this old existing brickwork is a little bit out of um, a little bit off the boundary, so we need to muck around with our set out to try and get the, um, the cavity the right height. So I'll show you a little bit of a close-up of that, we'll see what we can do with it. The problem that we've got is this old brick wall here is encroaching onto the neighbour's property. Our boundary is actually 70 millimetres off their wall, so we'll have to probably try and step that in as we go up, but the, the issue that we're gonna have is our cavity here, which is 60 millimetres, is probably gonna get crushed down, and the most you wanna crush that is probably about 20 millimetres at the maximum, because you don't want that moisture to transfer between the two walls. The whole idea of the cavity is to, um, if the outside skin of brickwork gets wet, You've got a, a cavity that stops the inside skin from uh, from getting wet and staying dry. Anyway, we'll have a bit of a play around with this and we'll see what we can do. double skin brick walls down both sides of the building we're going to take that up past the ceiling height once we get these brick walls up to that height we can then um, come through with our next stage of carpentry and pull our roof framing through but at this stage we're laying these bricks we've got some profiles set up at the end of the wall we've got an existing uh, wall up that end there so what we're going to do is we're pulling these uh, string lines in between the existing courses and then back to our profiles there so I'll show you how it works in laying these bricks. Once you've got your string line set up, it's pretty easy. You just lay your mortar in, sit your bricks on top, and run to the uh, line. Okay, so this is the pin that we've got driven into the um, original brickwork. We'll raise this up now to the next course to get our line. Good thing this is old line mortar, so it's pretty easy to drive into. Now we'll go up the other end of the um, uh, brick wall or raise the line up on the profile. So what we do now is we're going to slide this up on the mark and then that's it. We're ready to start laying bricks through this next course.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse uh, video of the brickwork taking place. It's amazing uh, how two weeks worth of work can be uh, condensed down into a couple of minutes. Um, what we've finished off now is all this uh, internal brickwork. Uh, so the boys finished off this uh, last corner here today. And um, now we're pretty much ready for uh, us to move on to the carpentry work and put the um, roof framing in place while they'll move on to the front of the building and they'll continue on getting all the face work done uh, across the facade and down the corners of the building. So they've probably got another week to finish off, but uh, while they're doing that, we'll film all this roof going in and I'll show you some of how uh, the carpentry work um, gets installed. Alright, stay tuned.